What's good, Grey Gang? We're in a day at a pond, and we're about to do some catfishing, okay? Y'all been wanting it. Everybody's been commenting, why don't you go catfishing? We all love it. As y'all may know, this channel feeds off you guys, the viewers. If you want it, I'll bring it to you. Everybody wanted it. We're going catfishing today. Now, I just want to let y'all know, today's video wouldn't be possible without the seller of these two products. We're going to be using both of these today. The first is Handy Dandy Fishing Pliers. You know how catfish have those really unique, like, skin mouths? I don't really know what to compare it to. M maybe leather? Well, these pliers right here, they will come in key if I hook one really good or, you know, if I hook it in an odd position. These pliers, get them right out. The second fishing gadget we're going to be using today is this fish gripper. And also with the fish gripper, not only is it a fish gripper, but it also takes the weight right here. So in today's video, we're also going to be taking the weights of the catfish we catch. Now for bait, we're using probably the messiest thing on earth, but it does work really good. And as y'all may have guessed it, it's chicken livers. I'm just going to say this right now, guys. Chicken liver is not my favorite bait. Mainly because whenever I go home, I smell like the inside of a chicken. And my pants are the color of the inside of a chicken. But anyways, that ain't gonna stop us from using them here today. Now a few videos ago, one of y'all, one of the fans, actually sent me this during, well, one of my informal mail times, but it's a bobber. A lot of people wanted to see bobber fishing for catfish. I don't do it often, but since y'all sent one to me, we're gonna do it here today. I'm gonna be putting the bobber on this bass reel right here. It's actually got braid on it, so, you know, if we do get a good catfish, it ought to give me a good fight on this little bass pole. And then I will be bottom fishing with this combo right here. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I mean, okay, it's an Ambassador 5000. I heard that's like a stockfish reel, like not necessarily for big fish, but good for a lot of catfish. However, this reel is paired up with a Berkeley big game rod and spooled up with 30 pound big game line. But without further ado, we still gotta tie that bobber on. Right now on my bass rod, like guys, I got a jig on. A jig ain't gonna catch me a catfish. I take that back. That's happened multiple times before. However, a jig is not gonna catch me a catfish in this pond. First things first, I'm just gonna cut this jig off right here. Just Oh, dang, boys. That was crispy right there. That's a clean cut right there. But next is the most complicated part. Just putting a bobber on catfish isn't as simple as just putting a bobber on for bluegill. It's a whole lot more complicated, and you actually have a system. So here are the components of a catfishing slip bobber. First, you gotta have your bobber stop, or you can, you know, you can tie knots with, like, line or something. But first thing, you put this wherever you want the depth of your bobber to be. Next, you gotta have a bead. That's because a lot of times your bobber stop or your slip knot isn't big enough and will actually slide through your bobber, which won't be stopping. Therefore, you use a bead which is not big enough to slide through the bobber. Then under the bobber you're gonna have another bead. That's to stop the big bobber from banging down on your knot and really you know losing strength on the knot. That way that can cover the knot and the bobber won't hurt it. In this case I'm actually using a split shot. That way my liver won't be floating up in the water column. I'm gonna go ahead and rig that up and then I'll get back to y'all and you know show you what it actually looks like after I'm done. So here we go. I got it rigged up. I got my bobber stop up here about four feet. I don't want to fish too deep but four feet you know that's a good universal depth for me. Next I got the bead from stopping the bobber stop to go in in the bobber then i have this bead to stop it from banging down on my thing and then just for kicks and giggles i put this little spit shot there and one thing i forgot to mention earlier is the hook i'm using i'm using this one right here a lot of times i'll use a circle hook and the only reason i'm not using a circle hook today is because today i just feel like swarping on some and if you don't know what swarping means it's basically the most savage hook set you can imagine times two. And now that we've got the bobber hooked up, let's get on down here to my big round bait caster, and let's get this sucker hooked up for some biggins. Now, I'm actually going to retie this snap right as soon as I cut it, but it's always a good time to cut it, just because, well, you know, you never know how much stress it was on the last time I was fishing, so... Boom. But it's what's below the snap that really matters. And right now, it's this gigantic hook that is stuck in my pants. And boom, about two hours of rigging later, and we're finally ready to make our first cast. But then I just remembered something. Before you can make a first cast, I've got to gouge my hand right into this pot of chicken livers. Now, I've done mention this, but chicken livers are not my favorite bait. And it seems like these right here are actually half frozen. So I'm going to have to... Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, my... What is... Oh, my... Wow. That's a... It's not a pretty sight, really. And I'm not necessarily a big cat fisherman either, so. I guess I got two livers out. That's all that matters, I guess. Yep, I mean, I got the liver. That's what matters. So, here we go. Just gonna hook it in. The one thing about livers that I really don't like is that you have to be super careful when casting them. What I mean by that is, like, they're really, they're really, really, really fragile, and they'll fall off super easy if you don't cast them just right. But finally, here we go. First cast with the chicken liver right out there right out there in a good spot too right out there in the middle a lot of catfish love to hang out right there and just cruise around looking for stuff I'm just gonna set this down here whenever the bobber goes under shoot far boys it's about to get on i'm just gonna chuck this one well right out there a little bit closer to the bank just because well i don't i don't i don't i don't think they're in the middle deep because the middle deep it's like it's deep guys it's like almost 60 foot and just like the bobber i'm just gonna center right here right beside by side and when this one starts taking off in the water or that one's bobber goes under i'm jumping on them and think i'm gonna swarp on them boys it's gonna be crazy yeah America. the bobber's moving over here we'll see if it goes under oh boys uh-oh 
I believe we may have one right here. We may have a we may have a bobber fish right here. I ain't swarped in a long time, son. I'm sure ready for it. I'm ready to swarp. Oh, oh my gosh. Forget that. Oh my, what in the world? Did y'all just see that? I was looking over here at the bobber one and this one almost drug the pole in the water. We're just gonna have to rebate this and then keep an eye on the bobber because they're both at it right now. They're both at it. And I'm talking, did you see that? I was so caught up in the bobber and then this one just took off right between my legs. I'm gonna throw this in exactly where it was before and hopefully that same catfish will, you know, eat it. Oh, there he is. Uh oh, is that him? Has he got it? He's got it, son. Oh my goodness. Bros, he's putting up a good fight, and I'm using the biggest reel I own. This is the biggest rod and reel I got, and he's putting up a fight. We've got a good in here. They just swept it right off the bottom. This is the one on the bottom. This is my big one, the one that was on the bottom, like I've said a hundred times so right now. This is a really good time whenever the fish gripper comes in, because this is a really steep bank. If I go down there, I either risk falling in or breaking my line and trying to get him out. So here we go. We're going to get it, move in, grip him. Well, yeah, here we go. We'll see how I can do this. In the past, it's been super hard to land fish by myself, especially on these steep banks, but we're about to see how it is with these fish grippers. Bringing it up as far as I can. Got him, boys. I got him. Just like that. Just like that. And I got him. I got him, son. This one ain't getting away. This one ain't getting away. And boom. Just like this. I don't even have to risk this catfish ripping my finger off. If I had my thumb in there and him doing that, son, I'd, I'd be bleeding for sure. And just like earlier, I said they have like those leather mouths. Get these pliers. Bring it over right here. Boom. Just like that. He's out of there. Now let's get the weight on this guy. Here we go. Got him latched onto this fish gripper and weigher. Let's see what he reads. It reads four pounds okay okay respectable respectable not as big as i originally thought hey little fish big heart just like that boom he's good to go and i never even had to touch him and not that touching catfish is a bad thing it's just that well they can really tear you up since that last one right there bit on the bottom i'm just gonna rebate this thing as fast as i can and get it out there we may even catch two tonight on the same exact rod that is very very possible now let's just get it out there that is a good piece of bait right there they ought to smell that from a mile away toss it in right over there right where my thing was bro my bobber's like gone right there my bobber just took like four dunks right there i need to get on it there he goes there he goes up uh, must have been a bluegill. So like what just happened is yeah, I just caught a fish on the bottom rig. So as I was putting new liver on the bottom rig and cast it back out there, I looked over and my bobber's sinking going under like crazy and like, I didn't even know what was going on. And then, I mean, as you saw, I set the hook on it. I don't know if it was either bluegill, you know, trying to eat it, or maybe it was a catfish playing with it, pulling another and letting go right away. I'm not exactly sure. But one way or another, I got the bobber right out there, a big new fresh piece of liver. If a catfish wants it now, have at it, buddy. You can have it. This time, I'm not even going to think about setting the hook until it goes under for at least a second and a half. Uh-oh. There he is. He's got it there. Has he? Yep. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Another one. Another one on the bottom rig. Seems like they really like in the bottom rig a whole lot more than they are the bobber rig. I mean, honestly, the bobbers went under like two or three times. And I don't know. They just ain't really took it. At least here on the bottom rig, I got a good percentage. I've had three take the bait, and I've caught two of them. Just like that last one, I'm going to come over here, get the grippers. That way, I won't have any problems getting him out of the water. I don't think this guy's as big as the first one, but hey, he's still a decent size one, and I still need the grippers to get him out of here. There we go. He's hooked. And he's coming out of here with me, son. He's coming out now. Oh, bro, look at that. My snap came off. It ain't even connected. It broke my line. Well, actually, it didn't break the line, but it actually broke the little snap. Not as big as the first one I caught. Probably his brother, but oh, man. Listen, if a catfish done that and your finger was in his mouth, you'd be pouring the blood. But besides that, hear him? He's talking to us. But anyways, he's a good little solid three-pound catfish. Nothing special, but still a fun fish to catch. But anyways, here goes that guy. Yeah, that's a... Not a giant, not a giant pound wise, but heart wise, he was a monster. And I've actually still not caught one on the bobber, which sort of surprises me. Since I actually got that bobber in the mail and a lot of y'all want to see me catch one on the bobber, I'm not even going to make another cast with the bottom bait. I'm going to stay here and I'm going to wait and make my next catfish a catfish on the bobber. Because you know that bobber really means a lot to me. One of y'all sent it in and well, you wanted me to use it. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. Now I'm sure that a whole lot of you out there are a whole lot better catfishermen than me and know a whole lot more about it. So what I want y'all to do is go down in the comment section and comment your favorite way to rig for catfishing. Whether it's a bobber, maybe it's on the bottom, maybe it's a special rig on the bottom. Go down, put it in the comments and if you see anyone else that has the same favorite rig as you, go ahead and reply to them saying, Hey, bud, I like that rig, too. But while you're doing that, I'm going to sit here a little bit and wait for one to, you know, bite the bobber. Oh, gosh. There he goes. He's got it. Yes, sir. Finally. Finally. 
Finally, he about, oh, bros, this is a good one, too. He about stole my rod. He about stinking stole my rod. I ain't gonna lie. He straight stole my rod, bro. I was sitting there trying to send a text to my bud. I was sitting there talking to my bro, Zach Ketcher, from Catch em All Fishing, and bro, he just came out of nowhere. And son, he's wearing me out on my little bass pole. This bass pole ain't much fit for one of these suckers. But, however, it is getting the job done. One way or another, it will get the job done. My reel's sitting here squeaking, but it will not admit defeat oh oh and this is probably the biggest one so far baby this is by far the biggest one tonight oh yeah and he's taking some drag there that's the first one to really take drag oh my goodness bro he ain't letting up this is the first one to take drag tonight but then again this is the first one on the actual bass pole dang it bro he's killing this reel you hear that like bro this reel can't even handle this guy come over here if my reel can't handle him then i sure can't flip this guy you know there ain't no way i'm landing this guy without these things they, they just ain't no way this, this combo right here can't handle a catfish like this on its own well i mean i thought he was done fighting but apparently not he's still going he's still going by golly He's still going. Hey, got, hey, got to give him credit for being a fighter. Got to give him credit for that. Can someone say, got him? I don't know if y'all can see what I've done right here, but I've actually just clipped the gripper to my hand so that whenever I get ready to grip him, I can act really cool and just do this right here. Like that, you know. Makes me feel like James Bond or something. But anyways, let's get him. Oh my gosh, Joe. This one may break 10 pounds. Then again, I thought the others was 10 pounds and they ended up being three. But this is definitely the biggest one of the bunch. I can't get this guy up no farther. I'm going to have to go in for him. Sorry. Got him. Bro, this one's stinking massive. Stinking, look at this thing. This is massive. Let's see what he weighs in at. Mm, okay, six pounds. Respectively, not as big as I thought, but he's still a good catfish. Still 100% a good catfish. And he ain't even done fighting. He's still kicking over here. And like I said earlier, it's really hard to get a hook out of a catfish, especially whenever you hook him good. That's a, uh, well, that's what I got these pliers here for. That way I can just come in like this, just boom just like that got it right out no problems but uh, yeah guys this is by far the giant here let me let me grab him up here and just show you how big he is like bro that is massive and i just remembered that a lot of y'all wanted to see a catfish and catch and cook well unfortunately this isn't my pond so i can't take these however if we can get 5,000 likes on this video the next catfishing video will i promise be a catch and cook anyways here we go guys we're gonna let this guy go that was a massive catfish well there we go we got three catfish in the books and guys like you you saw it guys i couldn't got it done especially with this fish gripper that bank's a steep bank i'd either fail in one which y'all may have liked it better if i fell in but i wouldn't or i would have broke off at least two of those fish if i couldn't grab one of this fish gripper and lift them up that way and not to mention it'd take me at least five minutes a piece to get the hooks out of those without these pliers if you'd like to pick up one of these two you know they will be the first linked in the description and if nothing else guys they do have a few more fishing gadgets over there just go ahead click the links look around look and see if you like them you really never know if you want it or not until you look at the specifications so go ahead look at them if nothing else like i done said just look at them look at them look at the prices why not so what was the key for today okay so the key for today was one they were biting bottom baits really good so i fished here for about two hours i caught both my fish on the bottom rigs within 30 minutes of each other the other hour and a half we was waiting for them to bite on the bob now was i really going to catch as many catfish as possible no but i wanted to make a great video for y'all and use the stuff that y'all sent in therefore i waited here and you know use the bob and then after i hooked them you know the fight was good all the way up until i had to get them out of the bank and let me just tell you i don't mean to like i don't i don't mean to like shove this down their throats or anything y'all have even seen this in past videos like i broke off so many fish not only catfish but even big bass right there at the bank and what this fish gripper allows me to do is get right down there i could even reach out with this thing i can reach out get them right in the water once i clip them boom it's game over lift them up drag them up this thing ain't letting go of them and another thing y'all have seen in the videos is if you know me i like to lip stuff I don't necessarily like to grab a catfish like this. I'll do it sometimes, but I really like to lip them just to make me feel cool, I guess. But if I'd lip those catfish, and y'all saw, they were stinking giving it everything they had on that fish gripper. If my thumb had been that fish gripper, like, to be honest... I'd probably been like this. I wouldn't even had a thumb. But besides that, guys, my pants look like a chicken liver. I smell like a chicken liver. I'll see you in my next video. If you're not part of the Grey Gang, go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button on the top right and feel free to watch some of my past videos on the left. As always, favorite squad, post it up down low. If you want some of this sweet merch, head on over to kennelgrey1.com or the link in the description. But besides that, I'll catch you later in tomorrow's video.